Sedona, Arizona. Have you heard about a place that's just like Disneyland, but more magical, an absolute wonder of nature? We are talking about none other than Sedona, a quaint little city in the middle of a beautiful desert landscape of red rocks. It is home to an all-natural rock water slide and energy vortexes. Did you know Sedona's McDonald's is the only McDonald's in the world to have green arches? In today's video, we'll discuss why Sedona is known as a heaven for spiritual healing, as well as a rich Native American culture that exists there. If you're planning a vacation to Sedona and want to learn more about its specialities, watch this video till the end. The main attraction in Sedona is its gorgeous red rocks. The formation process of these rocks is as fascinating as how they look. The red rocks of Sedona are formed by a peculiar layer of rock known as the Schneebly Hill Formation, which was a result of the uplifting of the Colorado Plateau about 3 million years ago. Sedona is a town rich in Native American culture where you experience a whole new world. The moment you enter this surreal town, the vibe you feel is immaculate. It is a perfect place to visit for those who are a fan of outdoor adventures. Let's take a deeper dive into this rocky desert town in Arizona. Sedona is located in the northern Verde Valley region of Arizona, bordering the county line between Coconino and Yavapai counties. The city has a total area of 19.2 square miles, of which 0.04 square miles, or 0.22%, is water, according to the United States Census Bureau. It was named after Sedona Arabella Miller Schneebly, 1877-1950, who was famous for her hospitality and industriousness, wife of the city's first postmaster. Sedona's beauty has captivated even the film industry, as it has served as the setting for over 60 Hollywood movies. Sedona has a semi-arid climate. It experiences mild winters and warm summers. So the best time to visit Sedona is between March and May, when the weather isn't too hot and the city is in full bloom. In addition, the charming flower bloom during this time of the year provides a splash of color to Sedona. If you want to enjoy outdoor activities like jeep trips or biking, September to November is the best season. A look into the culture of Sedona is well worth your time and attention. That's why Tlaucapac is a must-see attraction in the city. It's often referred to as the art and soul of Sedona, which is an accurate description. Tasteful galleries and unique stores coexist with the lovely natural setting. Tlacopaki is brimming with breathtaking, one-of-a-kind art expressions in every medium, including western and eclectic bronze sculpture, functional and traditional ceramics, breathtaking blown glass creations, contemporary and southwestern fine art paintings, weavings, decorative arts, architectural decor pieces, and stunning large-format photography. If you are a tea fan, don't forget to visit the exclusive chai shop there. They serve varieties of chai flavors. Plus, the setting of that chai shop is what gives it the ancient Mughal essence. You could be anything in your imagination. You can get jewelry, clothes, and toys as well. Another location you should add to your list while visiting Sedona is the Chapel of the Holy Cross, even if you're not a religious person, as the structure of this building is really fascinating. The Chapel of the Holy Cross is a Roman Catholic chapel carved into the Sedona Buttes. The main feature of the chapel is a 90-foot tall iron cross on the southwestern wall, which serves both aesthetic and structural purposes. The chapel can accommodate up to 150 people. The confessional, office, two sacristies, and services are all housed in the building's basement. Out of all other reasons, hiking is the major one that compels many people to visit Sedona. If you happen to be a photographer, this area is a must-see. You can sit on the rock, admire the wonders of nature. The top trails of Sedona for hiking include Cathedral Rock Hike, Doe Mountain Trail, 
Devil's Bridge Trail, Fay Canyon, Boynton Canyon, and Bell Rock Pathway. Make sure not to go hiking when the weather's not super hot. Apart from hiking, you can go mountain biking and also capture the beauty of divine cliffs. You may also get a chance to see wildlife. Your unforgettable Sedona experience must include seeing Montezuma Castle. It was established in 1906 and is the third national monument devoted to conserving Native American culture. Montezuma Castle, like an antique five-story apartment structure, looms above the desert below, a stone and mortar architectural engineering wonder. It comprises around 20 rooms. This exterior of the castle is straight out of Disneyland and will act as a gorgeous background in your photos. Plus, the view of the desert from the top of the castle is absolutely breathtaking. You get to see Sedona from a whole new perspective. Now, why is Sedona considered a spiritually healing place? Are you familiar with Vortex? If not, a vortex is thought to be a special spot on the Earth's surface where energy is either entering or flowing out of the Earth's plane. They appear to admit some form of energy that is spiritual in nature and some people claim to have felt. Sedona contains a number of these energy vortexes, which is why it is known as the Spiritual Healing Refuge. The four main vortexes include Bell Rock, Cathedral, Airport Mesa and Boynton Canyon. The calmness and ethereal beauty of the Vortex gives you a divine experience that you should make a part of when visiting Sedona. Another spot you shouldn't be missing out in Sedona is Slide Rock State Park, an absolute treat to the eyes. It's located in Oak Creek Canyon, seven miles north of Sedona, Arizona. Slide Rock State Park has three hiking trails, Pendley Homestead Trail, Slide Rock Route, and Clifftop Nature Trail. Slide Rock State Park had 254,584 visitors in 2005, making it one of Arizona's most popular tourist destinations. You can do many fun activities in Slide State Park, like apple picking, swimming, sliding, and hiking. Also, every single spot in Sedona is worth your camera lens. Now, if you're wondering where to stay, we have already sorted that problem out for you. Let's take a look at our top three recommendations. The first one on our list includes this 1500 square foot house, which is perfect for you if you're visiting with your family or friends. It has two rooms, each equipped with comfortable beds and attached bathrooms. This cozy house also features a spacious kitchen that allows you to cook meals if you don't like eating food from the outside. The seating area has a comfortable couch and a TV. Other amenities include Wi-Fi, heater, washer dryer, in addition to the air conditioning. Plus, if you're traveling in your vehicle, this apartment provides parking space. The second house on our list is this beautiful home that offers a comfortable experience and is aesthetic in every way. This house is 1,427 square feet in size and has three bedrooms. Brand new furniture, breathtaking scenery, solitude and privacy all while being just one mile from town and Whole Foods. This seems like a deal you shouldn't be overlooking. Other amenities like TV, internet, fireplace, heater and air conditioning are also available. The third one on our list is the Sedona Dome Home, which has been featured in the New York Times, highlighting its unique design and artistic details. This luxurious 1200 square foot house has a breathtaking red rock view which means you don't get to miss the scenery even when you're staying inside. This house has two bedrooms with six beds in total and a separate bathroom for each. It includes a gorgeous living space, a fully equipped kitchen, flat screen TV, a spiral staircase to loft and family games. You'd definitely enjoy your stay here. Altogether, Sedona is a wonderful city in Arizona. It is rich in Native American culture, which is evident in Tlacopaki the village of arts and crafts. Sedona offers extraordinary scenery background to capture the best moments of your life you're having there with your loved ones. The city of Arizona attracts thousands of visitors because of its exquisite beauty. 
especially the rocks that appear to glow in brilliant orange and red when illuminated by the rising or setting sun. If you love hiking or motorbiking, you should definitely consider visiting Sedona. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our video and want to see more like this, make sure to check out similar videos available on our channel.